Hi! <laughs> oh, this video is going to be a lot different than my other ones. I guess this one's just going to be me sitting here talking with you all. Because I guess that's just what my YouTube algorithm has been flooding with for like the past month or so. I don't know why the YouTube algorithm has just been shifting into a lot of people's thumbnails of them just sitting in the room having a low quality webcam and talking about their life problems. I don't know why. I'm seeing a lot of emo girls. Emo girls in my recommendations. <laughs> so let's just do this. <laughs> I'm growing the hair, dude. Like I cut it down. I had a lot of long hair back then. Now I'm just like, you know what? Let's just let's just do it like this. Shoot. I don't know how, you know, to cut it properly to make it look like you know, emo hair without going over my eyes so I can actually see and all that, but I guess what we can talk about today is why I'm still single. I'm 25 years old. I'm an American-raised Asian. Um, here all alone in a bedroom that doesn't look really masculine. I mean, back then, since last year and all the way before that, I've just been like a complete normie, complete normie gamer that liked anime. So I didn't really have an aesthetic. I didn't really have an aesthetic and all that until now. Like this year, I de dedicated my life to, you know, collecting Hello Kitty plushies. Um, but I'm getting way off to topic here. <laughs> it was all about why I'm still single and all that. And why do I not bother going out to seek you know, a relationship with the uh, opposite sex, with another girl or something. Um, I guess it's just, like, I'm so comfortable with where I'm at. I am content. I don't feel the need to, you know, seek love. And at the end of the day, I don't think I can understand what love feels like. Other than, you know, like, the love for my parents and all that and my friends. But when it comes to, like... A relationship with the, another person like a girl for example I don't think I could fall in love I really don't think I could fall in love with another girl even though like I really want to but you know I never had that luxury of you know ever having one okay like I've tried in the past I gave my effort I was let's just say I was desperate back then just having one just having one when I was in school now, I didn't know how to approach it properly, right? I didn't know the person or persons, but I would try to get their number and I would ask them out immediately. I th I told them how I felt about I thought they were attractive and that I would like to go out with them and get to know them as a person, but the way I did it was so cheesy, so corny, and you know, like when I think about it, I cringe about it every single day because you know, it was a mistake on my end, just asking anybody and just just begging. And I even I've even said immediately that I've loved them, right when they say yes or something, or trying to get them to you know be my girlfriend. But in this day and age, I got I got over that desperate feeling, and anime basically came in my life. 2015 is when anime came into my life because um, my brother and I were basically playing soccer out in the front of our yard at our old apartment complex. And then some random dude, some random dude named Earl was walking around and he noticed that we were playing soccer and he wanted to join us. He was like 21 and we, I was like 15 or 16 at the time. I can't remember, but the dude was pretty chill. He he was just looking for somebody to hang out with, and I gave him the time. I gave I gave him my like my undivided attention, and you know just let him just play with us. So I don't know how it came up, but he introduced me to anime. Like I knew kind of in a way what anime was at the time. Like I saw Dragon Ball or Naruto on Adult Swim when I was a little kid but didn't know exactly what it was 
and just watch a few episodes, but I wasn't really committed to watching it because, you know, I was more into the Cartoon Network, the Disney Channel, the Nickelodeon kid at the time. But when this dude named Earl introduced me to this anime called Food Wars, my life just flipped upside down and turned for the greater good or even for the worse, who knows. But at the time, Food Wars was, d like, just thought as, like, the most disgusting thing ever from my own classmates, from anyone in my school at the time, because this was released around, like, 2014 or 15. I do not remember. But it was an etchy anime involving foodgasms, right? Uh, just a dude named Yukihira Soma who wants to take over his, his family, you know, diner. But he has to go to this elite school or whatever. And basically, he's trying to become the number one, the elite 10 or whatever. And <laughs> the whole thing is just fan service. The whole thing is just fan service after fan service. And season one just hit it off for me. And that's probably how I got into hentai. How I got into a lot of harem, etchy anime, romance. I'm not a shonen person. I, I, I do not care about fist fighting anime. It's just so cringe to me, to be honest. I, I really can't stand it. I, I like action anime, but I cannot deal with freaking buff, giga chad dudes who want to be strong, like or just wimpy kids who want to be strong or whatever, and just fist fight for the power of friendship. It just annoys me. I just can't stand it. Like, those type of anime, in my opinion, are like the definition of just like normie anime because whenever someone new gets into anime what do they get into first it's always the most popular cringe anime i swear it's always like dragon ball one piece naruto one punch man my hero academia you 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 can see where i'm going with this but for action anime for me i really loved attack on titan the production in that anime was perfect spot on the the soundtracks the the um the camera angles the intensity um just everything was just so like produced so perfectly i cannot explain it you got to watch it just to understand where i'm coming at with it and then the next one was sword art online i love the the fact that you know like you are sent to an immersive world through vr this was like when vr was starting to become a thing i i think you know vr was like not even so big at the time but the anime really brought it to life basically um but they were stuck basically in that game and the only way out is by completing the entire game otherwise you die you die in the game you die in real life basically i loved that concept and I wished at the time that, you know, our generation was able to experience something like that. I wish w our technology was so advanced to the point where we can feel that. Kind of like a dream in a way, but, you know, you're in that moment and you experience it. And you and you know everything. You remember it. Um, as far as that, those are like some of my favorite fighting anime. And then there's plenty of others. There's plenty of others. Um, but... Yeah, I, I definitely hit the down low of, like, 2D waifus are better than 3D girls type of deal. And that's the reason why I don't really go out and find any girls to, you know, socialize with or, you know, ask out. And plus, a lot of them in my area are, they're very norm normal. Let's say that, they... They don't watch anime. I guarantee you a lot of people in my area and a lot of people in your area, depending on where you are, anime is, even though anime is big, you just don't see people that love anime around you as often. Because in that moment when you're seeing anime conventions or like cosplayers or, you know, people that play anime type games, gotcha games, whatever... You know, they are where they're at, right? But everybody comes together at a convention, right? I forgot, there's like a 30% chance of rain, and I guess it is now raining. Or it's about to rain because it's thunder. But 
a lot of people in this generation are very normal. They're normies, okay? Let's face it. I'm not a normie. My my attitude kind of kind of is changing to a normie, but I'm down earth not a normie. I'm a degenerate. Let's just say that. I'm a degenerate. I'm I'm very down bad and I like anime girls and you know, I watch a lot of hentai or just like etchy stuff. So that's the main reason why I don't really have a relationship with the opposite sex, don't have a girlfriend, don't have a wife, whatever, and I'm like single at 25 going forward. And I've said to myself for years, even since like before I was 18, I'm definitely going to be single for the rest of my life. That's just the mental I'm at because I expect it not to happen. When you put your mind with high expectations, you're going to have a lot of disappointment at the end when you find out the truth. But when you have low expectations, you just don't care at all what happens to you and you just go with the flow. And that's basically where I'm at with you know, my current mental health. I had to change myself to set lower expectations because, you know, my life has just been all over the place. My life has been all over the place and I've just been in, like, a bad spot for some years. I hit a down low during COVID for sure. I had a lot of anxiety. I had a lot of depression. I experienced what it felt like to go viral and experience what it felt like to be canceled by a certain community of gotcha players or whatever globally it really affected me mentally so i definitely knew i needed to get out of that and switch my and, and just basically turn my life around go back to being normie-ish so i had to step back from the internet get myself you know suited with another job again get my car fixed start, you know, you know, get my own insurance again or start getting my new insurance for the first time cuz I've never paid for insurance, get my credit card for the first time cuz I never experienced credit when I was 18. Like it's better late than never, but you better do it sooner before it's too late basically. Um so now I am like trying to be financially responsible, um take responsibility for you know myself take care of my mental health but at the same time I'm still doing the stuff that I like to do whether it's watching anime playing games playing guitar whatever doing all that but but at the end of the day with all of that I'm still not finding myself you know a lover a girlfriend a wife whatever I'm going to be single forever because I'm I'm just not confident with myself and you know like taking the lead in that type of you know topic. You know, I don't have the riz, okay? I don't have riz. I'm gullible, right? I I could tell a girl that they're very cute or very beautiful. I mean I made I made a girl blush for that, but I don't have riz in this Gen A type of term. I don't have riz. I have brain rot. Okay, I have TikTok brain rot, but I don't have riz. <laughs> so, that's where I'm at with this whole situation. Um, I guess that's the topic that you know we're going to conclude with today. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you are experiencing something like I am, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on future content from your anime otaku catch you all later and i'll see you next time peace